Hi folks, welcome back to the B29 restoration project. Uh, been, a, been a while since the video. Honestly, I've been just slammed with work and globe trotting for work. But uh, progress is being made just ever so slowly. A lot of it's really just kind of boring and repetitive stuff. So not a whole lot of reason to video things that I've shown half a dozen times or spraying paint and spreading paint or spraying paint spreading body filler sanding all that stuff um the last video is showing building ailerons um i've actually built five ailerons now and the very first two ended up actually being a little bit too thick for the wing i made a mistake with the dimension for the root to tip and i brought it back to where the spar for the aileron is instead of the leading edge so I ended up making it about a quarter inch too thick. So here we have a very nice set of ailerons that are essentially at a later jump. time. Right um, now, I'm gonna get this aileron covered. That way I can get uh, the pinking tapes and all that stuff cut in the laser and start making some progress on this thing. At least get something done. Trying to, trying to beat the cold weather with getting all of the primer done. I have a feeling the fuselage is gonna need a couple of more areas of body working to be done uh, the outboard wing panels and the cells those are actually they turned out pretty nice where they could use a few areas here and there but honestly it's a it's a working plane so i'm not going to worry about making it look perfect the real ones are going to have dings and dents and nicks and scratches and and whatnot in it so if they're going to have it i typically just leave a little bit of that on on the airplanes especially warbirds i don't put a lot of effort into making them per, per, uh, perfect like the, i don't block sand anything ever unless it's a clear glazing uh like a canopy or something then i'll block sand that but outside of the airplane no block sanding that's one i hate sanding and two block sanding on a on an airplane that's not perfectly flat to begin with which none of these things are even airplanes built nowadays a brand new one's not perfectly flat unless it's all composite and even those have some little ripples here and there occasionally but uh i don't block sand if i put a ding somewhere like in the leading edge if as long as it doesn't go to bare metal and then it doesn't or bare bare wood and it's not ridiculously large like a telephone pole size something or another i'll typically just leave it it's just weathering as you're working on it it just adds a little bit of character to the airplane so covering this aileron what i like to do is i like to start about mid span of whatever the part is and then i'll go to opposite ends uh, making sure that i keep it as tight as i can and then i'll start working my way kind of here between stuff now this is uh like i said this is Oratex from balsa usa it's a I think a German version of what we of solar techs um, so far I haven't noticed much of a difference between it and solar techs um, this obviously is a silver colored Oratex after getting it I wish I would have just gotten the natural stuff and then painted the silver after the fact um, the reason for that is it's a little bit easier to see where all the the pinking tapes have to go over all the ribs and this silver it's kind of a dull color and when you the silver dope that i remember using in amp school a long long time ago was a little bit shinier than this this is kind of a almost a satin or almost something in that range but it'll work Especially if you're gonna paint the airplane afterwards, which these won't get painted because they're just bare of silver anyways. Um, the bottom would get painted black, I believe, but everything else would just be bare silver. But they will they will do for now. And I just go around the perimeter of the of the whole AR on, making sure everything is tacked down nicely. Not really worried about shrinking anything not worried about trying to get it stuck to all the structure yet all that can happen after the fact so once i get it stuck all around the, the back side 
I'm using one piece to wrap all the way around it and I'll come across the leading edge here and 